Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I want to welcome you today. And if you're returning, welcome back. Very quickly, I'm going to put a clip up here of um, what I did uh, this weekend. I had promised you guys on my last video, I had said I'm, I'm going to share what I did. I, I bought some Converse tennis shoes and I was sharing that with you on the last video and saying I you know, can't wait to show you what I'm going to do this weekend. Well, here's what I did this weekend. And once we, I show you the clip, I'll, we'll come back here and I'm going to share what I'm reading this month, my book of the month for September, and just a couple other things with you. So after a year and a half almost, just over a year and a half of being home and, not, and the only place that we've actually gone to is uh, we've camped. We've stayed in our RV, in our camper. Uh, we haven't stayed in a hotel or done any kind of traveling like that uh, in a year and a half, actually longer. Um, I finally got to go and go to Denver for the weekend. We stayed one night and we got home and it was really, really fun. Um, the, the game was a lot of fun, but my favorite part of the game is watching the skydivers come in. That is always my favorite part. So, so I really enjoyed that. So um, I didn't do a whole lot of shopping. Um, I've been actually kind of cutting back actually. I know it's hard to, because I share so many shopping hauls with you, uh, you, it probably seems like that's all I do, but um, I've cut back on shopping. When I have gone shopping, I've only bought a couple things. I'm really trying to get rid of things. I'm trying to declutter my house and I buy a few things like like Converse shoes. I'm, those are going to last me for years and I will say I wore those Converse shoes uh, to the game 
and I had for hours climbing up and down those st the stands and everything. The next morning, my feet felt great, so I was really happy. They were super comfy. Um, but I did do. I went into Ross's while we were in Denver because, well, it was right there. I had 10 minutes. John wanted to go into a different store. Uh, he went in, like they went into a golfing store and stuff. So I decided to go into Ross's and I found this mug and it says, never underestimate a woman powered by caffeine and prayer. Amen. Right? So I had to get it, of course. So, um, so that was a clip from the weekend. We had a really, really great time. Uh, I am, uh, I'm filming up here in, you know, this is now I'm calling it my ready room. It's where my books are. It's where I have my control journal from the Fly Lady system right here. Although she did come out with a phone app for the Android, so I'm happy. That's what I'm using now more than even this now. But I do have that. And, you know, all the things that help me to just get organized and get my current kind of get my my head and my heart aligned and ready for the day. That's why this is called my ready room. Now, this room, I do get some pretty decent light in. So I do like to film from here every now and then. But I was actually I've been up here all morning cleaning out my bookshelf is what I've been doing. And I thought I'll just film from up here. And I have a ton of books over here. I love my books. You guys know I've talked about that. Uh, and I keep saying I don't have a hobby, but I do. I mean, reading obviously is a hobby of mine. And um, so I haven't shared my book of the month yet. I've been sharing a book of the month. Uh, I think it was July and August. We were reading The 5 a.m. Club. Uh, Laura May Bell had, had, had um, she's the one that recommended that book. So her and I were both reading it. And then we still plan to do a live. Laura, if you see this, or, you know, let me know. Um, but with her work schedule and everything and my schedule, it's just been really hard to get us together to, to do that. But we're planning to do a live. I don't always do a live uh, live stream with the books that I'm reading. But that one was, would have been fun because it's the two of us you know, reading it together. We thought it would be fun to discuss it. How do I choose my books? Well, most of the time I just pick whatever, whatever I feel guided, like I kind of follow my heart, you know, like I, I can tell I, like when I was getting rid of my books this morning, um, I was picking up all of these books off the shelf and I could easily, I knew which ones I was ready to let go of. Like, okay, that one I'm done with that one I'm done with. And I got rid of a pile of books, a pile. Uh, and, but I'm still left with a whole bunch on my bookshelf and I have a banker boxes full in my closet. I'm not ready to let go of. Go figure. It's just it's just my process, but I do love books. Some of these books I've had for a long time, and I'm just now noticing uh, that I'm feeling like I want to read them again because it, I'm not the same person that I was when I read them the first time. So, and then of course there's some classics. You know, there's just classics that I don't want to let go of. Um, but this month, one of the books I'm really guided to read. I was talking to my sister on the phone earlier, and we were talking about Revelations. And I just, this is the book I'm guided to read right now. So I'm going to say this is my September book of the month. It's 35 simple studies on the major themes in Revelation. I'm going to start it. I don't know if I'll finish it, um, but it's, it is a subject that I've always been interested in. And I've read this before. I'm, um, let's see. Oh, I have the artist way here too, because uh, that's one I'm on, I ongoingly work through. Um, so she has another book out. I'm not going to go through all of these books, but I've been just going through books and um, making, I'm trying to create space and time in my life to, to do more writing and more reading. Cause that's, I love that. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have journals full of just things I've written that I've, I'm ready to, you know, I used to, to blog and I haven't done that in years. And I'm like, I, I'm really ready to, um, to, you know, do a little more of that too. So let me know if you're a reader, what you're reading. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear that. If you have any book recommendations from me, um, I would love to hear that too. Thanks for watching. I hope that you're doing well. I will be back here. I'm trying to do four, about four videos a week now. So, um, yeah, so I'll be back here with another video. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't already and take good care. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know is